Um, so hi there, uh, Jane uh, Williams. You're uh, chief exec of an organisation called the Magpie Project. Could you tell us a bit about what the Magpie Project is and how it came about? Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Uh, the Magpie Project is um, a charity based in Newham um, and we work with mums who have children under school age uh, who are homeless or at risk of homelessness in Newham and surrounding boroughs. That's great. And the Citizens Assembly is um, focusing on you know, what are the key needs that people have um, at a neighbourhood level. So what what kinds of activities and services can best be provided at that very local level? Um, how do the people that you work with kind of experience um, kind of their, their neighbourhoods? So um, around 80% of the mothers that we work with are um, uh, have no recourse to public funds. So they're either seeking safety in this country, having been uh, trafficked or having um, fleeing war or oppression, um, or they um, uh, have found themselves uh, without with sort of insecure immigration status here. Uh, so you know a lot of um, uh, a lot of people who feel very sort of insecure and marginalised within Newham. Some of them have been placed in Newham, uh, you know. Um, by the Home Office or, or by um, social services from other boroughs and have just sort of found themselves here with a young child. Um, and that can be very, very frightening. You know, it can you can feel very isolated. Anybody on the call who's been uh, a parent of, of, of a baby or a toddler or maybe a baby and a toddler at the same time knows in itself, that's exhausting and terrifying. But if you add to that insecure accommodation and a level of sort of poverty and deprivation, which means that you're not sure how you're going to get through the day, how you're going to get nappies and food, then you can imagine that the stresses start to really build up. And I think that what a lot of our families feel is just they feel alone. They feel isolated. They haven't got their, um, uh, their family around them. Uh, they haven't managed to build up a community around them yet. Um, so it can feel very hostile and very worrying to be here. Thanks. I think I think that's a really important perspective in terms of thinking about people that might be invisible to um to kind of to 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 people that go about their kind of their everyday work and business that have kind of lived in our neighbourhoods uh, you know, kind of for, for a very long time and and often from what you're saying those those people um are kind of invisible often not out of choice as well in terms of the the issues that they're they're facing and how do they come into contact with the magpie kind of project and what what kinds of um support and kind of solace do you provide them so um what we do is we have just an open stay and play uh which we invite mums to to drop in um, uh, we pay for travel, uh, we provide nappies, we provide clothes, we provide a hot meal, breakfast, lunch, um, and then we listen and we find out how we can help mums address the problems um, uh, which have brought them to the point uh, that they're at now and to address their worries, but also, you know, just to have somewhere safe and warm to stay and play, because a lot of the places that our mums are living, um, you know, very poor quality, a room the size of a parking space with a double bed and no space for a child to play, you know, repair problems, infestation problems and so on. Um, and also if mums are sofa surfing with friends, you know, we have a family at the moment who are living in the front room of a, of a friend. She works nights, so they have to be out all day uh, in case they wake her up from her shift, uh, from her sleeping. So, you know, um, uh, so what we do is we just provide a sort of safe place and then we ask mums what they need and we bring in that help for them. So we partner with Shelter, the housing charity, with local children's centres, with health visitors, uh, with um, NC Newham, Child, sorry, National Childbirth Trust, um, with London Black Women's Project to work around immigration issues. Um, everything really that our mums tell us they need, we try and help or we try and do a warm handover. But mainly it's about giving these children the experience of childhood and 
plenty and love. Um, and what we do as well is we call on the local community to help. We have a, a phrase which is that these are all of our children and any child in Newham growing up in this situation is all of our responsibilities. And you're absolutely right to say that it's happening so close to us and we don't see it. I would say that probably on every street in Newham, so look where you live in Newham, uh, and there will be a house of multiple occupancy where a lot of families are living in quite poor conditions, or you know there will be home office accommodation, or there will be a situation where somebody is living in conditions that you could hardly even imagine. Uh, you know, some of them are very Dickensian and very poor. So, um, yeah, so we just started really from saying, what do you need? How can we help? Um, and then we just moved to meet the needs of our mums uh, at any given stage. So it's evolved a lot and we bring in, uh, we've got an artist in residence, we've got dancers in residence, we've got musicians, and we just try to bring these young and uh, very, very marginalised and very at risk children a, we try and plug them back into all of the statutory services that Newham has to offer, but then we try and bring them all the very best of childhood experiences that we can give them to counter the adverse childhood experiences that they are suffering due to poverty and homelessness. Thanks. And there's a there's a couple of kind of things there for 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 for, for me in terms of kind of reminder like to us all that homelessness isn't just about rough sleeping as a, as important as rough sleeping is that there are a variety of different forms of, of homelessness that are you know, often often hidden and um when you were talking about kind of a warm warm handover and the kind of <clears throat> the love and care that you provide to to people that um that that services don't just have to be um kind of here's here's how we're going to meet your need fill in you know fill in this form yeah. and will provide pro provide that to you that is is kind of based on on kind of on hu on human relationships as um as well mm -hmm. um, and that's that's kind of a, a value of a, a, you know, a service and an organization is very rooted in its um in its in its local area and uh, and kind of communities and then finally we were kind of um you you, you mentioned uh, before this uh Kind of conversation about your kind of your your mum's leadership group can you t t maybe tell me a bit about them and kind of what what role they have in the magpie project so we're really keen uh, and we have been right from the beginning to co-produce and co-design anything that we do uh, so um we said uh where, even when we first started out uh we said that we've got a a, a three-word strategy just ask the mums they know, they're the experts, they know what they need, they know what they need to bring up their children well. Uh, they're excellent mums, they're, they're mothering in absolute extremists with almost nothing. You know, if you, if you had a sort of like, you know, if you had a metaphor for how these mums are mothering, they're, they're mothering sort of at the top of Mount Everest when there's not enough oxygen and there's not like, it's totally extreme how they're mothering and they're doing a brilliant job. So. All, all the way through, we've said that we just ask them what we need and then we try and go to our community. And it is a wonderful community of Newham and ask them to help us provide those things for our for our for our really precious little babies. Um, uh, so we, we're kind of codifying that a bit more now because we, we're growing. Uh, so we've got a leadership team of mums who've been through the process of, you know, and maybe they're slightly out of their crisis now. Um, so they we meet uh, once a fortnight and we just run everything by them. But also what we do is we decide uh, what pieces of policy work we're going to do, uh, what pieces of uh, press we're going to do. We were really lucky last year. Um, we spoke to the House of Lords um, uh, uh, committee on um, COVID recovery. We spoke to the House of Parliament, um, uh, all party parliamentary group on homelessness. Um, and also we took part in a, a news night investigation about about family homelessness and child homelessness in particular. So so that was really good. But we're running this all past our mums to decide how, what they want the project to look like, who they want to engage with. We're all about engaging with everybody. So we partner with lots and lots of community organisations like you know, uh, Discover, Westfield Stratford, um, Enabled Living, 
so many organizations anybody who wants to come and partner with us um, then we're really happy to see what we can do together uh, and to reach out to to make our voices heard and the voices of mums who previously as you say haven't been seen um, at all different levels local national community and I really want to say as well just a massive thank you to um, the whole of Newham who've embraced us so fully um, since we started four years ago. Um, at Christmas, for example, we got 180 um, food hampers which were put together by individual families within Newham and then donated to us to send out to our mothers. So those kind of acts of sort of community love and care, um, sometimes I feel that they're more important uh, showing that somebody cares, addressing the loneliness is almost more important than actually solving the big sort of structural issues, which we can't do right away. But what we can do right away is be curious, smile at the person you see in, at the school gates, ask them how they are, you know, uh, ask your neighbour how they are, how, however you do it. And so those things sometimes on that day will make all of the difference while we try and address the bigger issues. Great, thank you very much for that, Jane. No problem at 